A shadow object is an obsolete version of a live object. An object can be referenced, but a new version of its reference. So a shadow object is an old version of a live object. The commit record identifies the object table that references the old version. And so when the commit record is disposed of, then the old object table is no longer needed. And the shadow pages can be reclaimed. We don't reclaim the object ID, but we reclaim the space taken up on the shadow page for the shadow object. We can reclaim space on the page that used to hold the old version, but we can't reclaim the object ID. So repository wide garbage collection is these nine steps which we have details on each of them. Mark sweep, span through the database, marking each live object. Building up a list of the live objects. Scan the object table, get a list of possible dead. Pass that list to the stone. The stone asks the currently logged in gems to report on whether they're referencing the possible dead, any of the possible dead. Finalize voting on behalf of commits. Read the possible dead, clean up. Promote to dead, that's a transition. Start dead object reclamation. So you can't do it instantaneously. We have to do it a piece at a time, object at a time. And then return of pages and object IDs to the free pool. So once an object ID has been returned to the free pool, then the object ID can be reused. But there's steps that have to happen before that. Mark sweep is starting at the root, identify all referenced objects. This is very I.O. and CPU intensive because we have to read pages from the disk. And we're reading pages that might not otherwise be referenced. When you're not doing garbage collection, the things in the shared page cache are likely to be things that someone's used recently. If you're doing garbage collection, the things in the shared page cache are things that you just were looking at a page might have to be read multiple times. See, imagine that this page object and this object are on the same page. Well, you read this page to get to this object, and then you read some other objects. And so that page got flushed out of the page cache. Then you read that object. It's on the same page. So this is very intensive. One customer I was working with recently had an object that had four instance variables and each of the referenced objects was on a separate page. So for performance reasons you'd like to have an object and the objects it referenced on the same page. So in our customer case the customer object and the string that represents the customer name and the string that represents the customer address be nice if all that was on the same page so that when we read it we'd get them all. When we do garbage collection we could just trace through them all quickly. But if they're spread out on multiple pages and other objects are on those pages then we're reading flushing, reading flushing, reading flushing. That's why this takes a long time. Very expensive. Step two is once we've gotten a list of referenced objects that's not dead objects, that's live objects. Once we've got the live objects, then what we do is we subtract the set of total objects from the live objects. So the set of total objects is the object table. The object table has a list of all possible objects. All objects that exist, whether they're referenced or not. So once we have a list of live objects, then we subtract that from the object table. That gives us possible dead. Possible dead only means that it's not referenced or wasn't referenced when we scanned the database a couple days ago, but it might be referenced now. So we have a list of possible dead. We pass that list to the stone. This scan was done in a separate gem. That separate gem is by itself building this list of live objects, subtracting the live objects from the all objects, gives us possible dead, that list passed to the stone. Step four, is the stone is holding this list of possible dead. Then the stone says to the each gem as it commits, is anything in this list something that you are referencing? If so, then we need to keep it. So gems can vote to remove things from the possible dead set. If you eliminate it, then it won't be garbage collected. If you don't garbage collect it, then it stays in the database. So each gem, when it commits next, will vote on, no, oh, no, I don't see anything in that that I need to keep. Or, yes, there's things there I need to keep. Then, after all the gems have voted, 
Then the stone passes this list to the administrative GC gem. The administrative GC gem has kept a list of everything written since the mark began, since the mark suite began. The gem is keeping, the administrative GC gem is keeping that list. So now it has a list of all modifications. It now has to see, did any object modification create a new reference? So it's not just a list of possible dead, but it keeps a list of modified objects because the modified might reference a possible dead since the beginning of the mark suite. How do you deal with the, the possibility of what if it's checking for like each one of them? Has there been any modification since then? But what if there's a modification after the GC gem has checked that particular object? We've asked each of the gems that's currently logged in to tell us whether it contains any references to this object. If no logged in gem contains a reference, and if no current commit record references the object, then no new session can create a reference to it. Because you can only reference objects that you can find. And if you can't find it, because there's no references to it, then no new references will get created. Modifications might create any new references would cause the GC gem to vote to keep it alive. So now we have a list of these possible dead are not referenced by anyone, okay? So if they're not referenced by any current session or any commit record that's happened since we started, then we know that they're dead. Some things require special treatment. Indexes need cleanup, compiled methods need to notify the gems to reload the message the cache. At this point, possible dead are dead but not reclaimed. So, how do we reclaim? We have a list of dead objects that we know are dead. We're going to reclaim them, but we can't, haven't reclaimed them yet. Well, there's a reclaim GC gem that copies live objects from a page in the repository in the reclaim list to a new page. So, the thing is, before we can reclaim the space, we have to have moved all live objects off the page. So you never reclaim part of a page. You can only reclaim all of a page. You can never add something to a page that's already there. So we take all the other objects that are not dead, that are on this page, we copy them to a new page. So now this page only contains dead and shadow objects. If a page only contains dead and shadow objects and free space, so at this point only dead objects, shadow objects, and free space are on the old page. And so once that is identified, then we keep this separate list of here are pages that are only shadow, only dead, and only free space. We're going to reclaim that. There's lots of I.O. here because we're copying objects, live objects, from shadow pages to new pages. Once that's been done, and once there's no one referencing those shadowed pages, so again, we have to wait until the commit record backlog has been cleared. Once the commit record backlog has been cleared, we can put those object IDs and page IDs in a new commit record and tell the stone, when this is the oldest commit record, then you can clean this up. So we create a new commit record, record it in the commit record backlog, saying, here's a list of object IDs and pages that can now be free. So when the stone reaches that commit record, then it says, we're disposing of this old commit record. No one's referencing it or anything older than it. So we can then add the IDs to the free pools. Here's a list of object IDs and page IDs that are free. We can't do it immediately because someone might have a view that includes the objects on the shadow page. So here's a picture of the process. Mark sweep, voting, finalize voting, read possible dead, promote to dead, reclaim, commit. So various steps in the process. There's statistics to be monitored for each of those steps. 